Hi there, welcome to this episode. I've got a bit of a, an unpacking day today. Um, let's see what's in them. I know, but I'll be able to show you now. So, hopefully, this is the second edition of my illustrated book. I sold out of the first edition. I'm not, they're not published. I'm just self-printing. Packaging. Ah, here we go. Second editions of the amazing creatures of church style wood. So there were 50 of the first editions uh, printed and they're all sold. I think there might be like two or three back up at the campsite that this is based on. They've sold a few for me. I think there might be two left or so. But this is the second edition. Now, you may be wondering, how do we know it's a second edition? Because I've had it printed exactly the same. And that's where this package comes in. Because this is my second edition stamp. There we go. It's got my logo and second edition. So that will be on all the books for my second edition. Then people know whether they bought one of the first 50 books or the second 50 books. So that's the next job. Got to stamp all those and put them back for sale. Brilliant stuff. The Amazing Creatures of Church Style Wood is a book I did actually write myself and illustrated it. It has some colour illustrations in there. And so what I thought I'd do is I'd show you the actual original illustrations. They're airbrush paintings, which I've stopped doing airbrush now. So um, because I can't see as well to do the frisket on it but different illustrations of the different characters and parts of the story in the book i'm not going to go into too much detail because i don't want to give it all away to you but there's little bits going on little portals and things and new characters new areas to investigate and i am going to tell you about one character this this is walsworth walsworth is uh, one of the main characters in the book and he's featured on the front cover as well so that's the book i'll put a link in the description to a whole blog I did about it um, when I first wrote the book so you can see a bit more if you're interested. On to the next bit. The other thing I've been purchasing is lots more canvases. Three there. Three more here, three packs of three. So there's nine more there and then some more here. That gives me enough canvases to be able to finish the art course now. So I'm going to get cracking on section B. Section A is complete. It's just going through a bit of testing with people, with a couple of people. Section B I'll start working on today. 
and um, hopefully, uh, I don't know if I'm going to get it out for the end of November now. I was hoping to get it out for the end of November, but I'm finding as I get further into the course, it's actually getting more thought process based, as, as I presumed it would, um, but the amount of thinking involved has sort of slowed down each painting. So it may run into um, the beginning of next year. I don't know yet. I'll keep you informed anyway. I, I'll, I should have section B done by the end of November. There's 18 more exercises for me to actually go through. Um, and each one of them is actually a, a full thought through painting it's not just an observational painting or anything it's um right from an idea through to finished painting including all the sketching collecting sources that sort of thing so i shall get cracking on that i am I'm, I, 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 might do, I, don't, I don't want to make it sound as though it's a bit of a chore i am really enjoying doing the course and it's making me think about things that I even, I mean, I wrote the course and it's still making me think about things in my work that are, it's really honed in on what I'm trying to say in them. Um, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So I'll start that today. Do a bit of editing as well. I'll start that today and get cracking. Um, I might put out a video of um, the paintings for exercises 5, 6, no, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Because I've done 1, 2, 3 and 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. I'll do 9, 10, 11 and 12, which are the landscape paintings. And then from then on, they'll take a bit of a different turn. So it'll be interesting to see. Right. Up next is the day that I spent getting some pieces ready for Skelmanthorpe. Um, I was asked to take 25 over, some large ones and some smaller ones, because they didn't know which ones would fit in the spaces because it was quite an awkward space. So I took all 25 over. They took on 13, including all the big ones, which I was really pleased about. Um, so all in all, it was a good day. And that's on till 8th of October 2022, so if this comes out in time, go and have a look. Skelmanthorpe Library. Right, morning, it's 8 o'clock and I'm getting some paintings ready for an exhibition in Skelmanthorpe in Huddersfield. Uh, I've got 25 paintings to get ready. These are going, this one's going, uh, I've got these here and this one that's New Year 2021. I need to set that up when I get there because it's too big. Uh, this one is for Every Name Remembered. Same again. When it's set up, I can't get it in the van. Um, control is going. Um, contemplation going. Hiding is going. Um, Away with the Fairies is going. Harry and Meghan is going. The Harry and Meghan one. Just I need to say this again. It's It's not... Um, it's a statement about how they're treated as well as how they're acting. It's not like there's more symbolism in there, which you can see on my website. I did a, a, a blog about a, a blog about it on my website. So yeah, got some more downstairs that I need to bring up. Better get started, right? All these are going. The shelves are now empty. They're all ready for wiring up. And I've just realised I haven't got enough D-rings or um, ice screws. So, trip to the hardware store or DIY store or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> so that's where I'm going now. Um, get a few bits and pieces to get everything finished off. 
are taken to the exhibition this afternoon. Finished all the edges. I'm just do a, um, a black border just to tidy up the edges of the paintings. So they're all done now. More paintings ready to go. These have already been strung up. These have been to exhibitions before. Uh, and we've got New Year 2021 there. And that one there is the For Every Name Remembered. And Gwyn on the chair doesn't seem bothered at all. So pleased to have this one up on the wall. Yeah, it's nice. Got the Forever Name Remembered. And at last, New Year 2021 is... Uh, is getting a trip out. So just as people come out of the lift, we'll have that on the left. that on the right. Alphabet Bridge is up there too. Self-portrait and Away with the Fairies. Control af evacuating Afghanistan and choice. Covid triptych. Thanks very much for watching again. I think that's it. Now what else was I going to show you? Ah, uh, and, oh, that was it, that was it, that was it. I know what I need to do. I need to do a big, big thank you for getting, for, for all the people that got me over 100 subscriptions uh, on, on YouTube. I'm over the moon. And I said on my Facebook that if you got me over 100, I would do a happy dance. So, here is my happy dance.